Hey guys, M12 here. I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make fountains in Minecraft. As you can see behind me, I made a giant pyramid of water. It took a while to build, but I can show you how to do it in small scale. And if you want, you can take the time to make this large one in your own worlds, creative survival. All you just need is simply to get a water source, infinite water source would be preferable. Then uh, a bunch of blocks and you can place water on them. But um, there are details on how to do it and I figured it'd be cool if I showed you. Because I had fun making this and why not spread the fun. So, as of course you can see this is a big giant one. But there are no blocks holding these water source blocks up. Now the reason for that is is because if I go down here. And plus one under there, put put a water source block underneath there. It does that, and I destroy all the blocks underneath it, and it's just like that. The water just flows, because the water source block is not affected by gravity, which is the main key, key component to this. But what you can do, if you get if you get a clear area, and do one that's much more flat. You can make your own things, such once you get like measurements, say like this one is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You build out. You do not have to change the floor, but for decoration purposes, if you feel like you need to. Is not necessary for a fountain. <laughs> and you just put the water on top and you can do that. Although you can make much bigger ones and go more creatively if you feel like you want to. Or increase it to be a little bit bigger or get the dimensions right so that you can also have one thing in the middle rather than having four things and it looks nice and neat Now I'm going to try and make my own fountain, one that's not, one that I'm actually going to build like a sort of complicated one, but somewhat easy to build, hopefully so that you guys can get a visual understanding on how this actually works. Now, you also do not have to use stone for this, but uh, if you're on survival, most likely you'll probably use stone or wood because I mean I think it would honestly be a waste if you used gold or um or diamonds on this I mean you could trade that to a villager and get a lot of good things for it I guess or, or to help you get a good start if you didn't start in a okay spot for survival but it's whatever <laughs> Hmm. 
Now I'm going to put this in. This is pretty much scaffolding because you need to have blocks in the sky. Because I can't just place a block in thin air. And yeah, that's about level. So now what I'm going to do... Is this... Some of you might know what I'm trying to do already, but uh... Now, fountains can be can be a simple build or a complicated build, depending upon how big you want and how decorative you want to do it, or how much time you actually want to spend making this. But however you want to do it is up to you. Be yourself when it comes to fountains or anything really in Minecraft. But watch this. The And that did not work out as planned. And it caused a lot of leaking problems. This is why you want to make sure you're building this a safe distance away from anything that rather not have that you rather not have water on. <clears throat> Anyway, you want to dig that out first, which was my mistake. <laughs> and that did not work out as well, again. Some of the physics and characteristics of this may have changed. Um, from, from the first time I actually taught myself how to do this, so... It froze. Crap. This is a desert in my water sort of thing. But yet that water over there is not freezing. Maybe I just need to make it warmer. Maybe it's because it's not moving.
Now, these blocks are no longer necessary. But, you can keep them there, or take them away, for the decoration of the fountain itself. Now, that's causing a problem, because I misclicked. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. If you misplace blocks or misplace water sources, it's not gonna flow the way you want, and it's gonna cause a lot of mess up. So don't do any of the mistakes I did. Now, what I think is needed to finish this off Uh, you can put these in for measurements. <laughs> um, I always do. You, you can just remove them when necessary. <laughs> I mean, you can use as much scaffolding as you want to get to where you need to if you're in survival. <laughs> Or if you need to put a block at a higher level, you can just always remove it. Now another thing you can do, I accidentally placed on the wrong one, is that you can take carpets and put them down. I like to do this for decoration. But you might have to make sure that you put them down and like not near water, because I I'm not sure, but I think water may get rid of a carpet if it's on the ground, I don't know. Actually we could test this. I guess it does. That's not gonna matter, because water's not supposed to go here. And if it does, we can always just build this one block higher and place more of them. Now that froze, and that caused a problem. So what I propose doing... is making infinite fire upon this. To reheat it up. Now I don't actually have solid blocks to place them on, so I'm going to put these back here. This is going to prevent them from from falling, and hopefully if you place them fast enough, you can do this. Now, this fire technique that I'm using is preferably only good, should only be used, really, if you actually want fire on your fountain, or if it's in a freezing climate area where the water could freeze, like it has over there. <laughs> What I'm doing for the ones that froze once I put fire on them is to put water to replace the ice with water and see what happens. Also, this is another way you can get uh, uh, n water into the nether is by putting ice down and having it melt. 
It works on the Xbox 360, but it does not. To my knowledge, it, I haven't seen it work on any videos I have watched. For in the Nether on PC or Mac. But that's because I don't play that version. If you do and you know about that, please let me know in the comment section down below. But anyway, I think I'm almost done. Now I'm putting water everywhere else on the bottom. Note there are many different types of fountains. You do not have to copy mine. I'm okay if you copy mine, but but I encourage you to see what what you can do in Minecraft and come up with. Now I now this is like the only area next to my big one that I could do this. But I think this is a cool looking fountain that I made. Many different ways to do them. And I hope this video is very helpful and informative on how to build fountains in Minecraft. Anyway guys, I'm going to end this video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Any comments, feedback of any sort, please leave in the comment section down below. Um, other than that, uh, uh, if you need help making a fountain, uh, just message me on Xbox. And if I have time, I will help you guys. And that also